OK, let's track an update here on both Marco and Laura here from Fox 10 News. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith. We have the new four o'clock advisory down on both Marco and Laura from the National Hurricane Center. We're still expecting the impacts to continue as we go through the day on Monday and then again on Wednesday with tides running one to three feet above normal in our area. Some heavy rain and also some isolated tornadoes specifically tomorrow uh, mid morning through mid afternoon. We're going to have to be on on alert and on guard for that. All right, here's the new stuff from the National Hurricane Center just came down. So the graphic may look a little strange here to you just because we got the advisory down before I had a chance to go in and tweak uh, some of the timing on it. But this is the official track on Marco and and what's unique here is we saw this some with the 18 Z models. We're expecting it to go north northwest. That would bring it in around the mouth of the Mississippi River. We are expecting a turn here towards the west northwest and uh, looking at our area here. We're going to be right on the outer edges of Marco here. It does not look like it's going to be a direct hit for us. Marco is a hurricane, by the way, and continues to hold that intensity. There are some models that actually bring it offshore of Louisiana and parallel the coast. And then here comes Laura, the second system coming in behind uh, Marco, and it's likely to be a fairly significant hurricane because it's going to spend more time over the Gulf and the environment st favors strengthening. But we've been taken out of the cone. It looks like that at this point, the track has Laura coming in around Lake Charles, Louisiana. We still will see some of the outer impacts from Laura, though. And if Marco lingers, it's going to make for a very interesting weather scenario. Unfortunately, it could be a devastating situation for Louisiana to get hit twice by two hurricanes within the same week. In fact, the same the early part of the week. Marco wins at 75, moving north northwest at 13. Pressures dropped. It's down to 991, so it's still at least holding together. There's a lot of wind shear out of the southwest, which should keep Marco from becoming a monster storm. And we're expecting this thing to hook over into Texas and Louisiana. And as we go through the week here again, that's the new track just coming down. It's going to drift over into the same path of approaching Laura. Uh, looking at it where we're headed here with this, there is the center. Wanted to show you this. This is the center of Marco. There's a lot of wind shear in the northern Gulf. That's why we don't think Marco is going to get a lot stronger. That wind shear is going to be gone by the time Laura rolls in. So that's why Laura could be a stronger system. Now, what about us? OK, so we're, we're talking about these these systems coming in towards Louisiana. We've got the outer rain bands coming through right now from uh, Marco. So we're going to see rain banding this afternoon, tonight and tomorrow. And it looks like some pretty good exterior rain bands coming in around Pensacola and South Baldwin County right now. This will produce some squally weather. We're going to see some wind gusts around 15 to about 25 miles an hour. We're not seeing tropical storm conditions just yet. And we've actually just gotten the update from the National Hurricane Center. We're still under a tropical storm water. Watch. We have not been upgraded to a tropical storm warning that starts at the Mississippi Alabama line. So it looks like if you go towards the east, the Panhandle, Baldwin County, we're just going to see a lot of rain out of this and we're not looking at a life threatening situation until you get down around the beaches and that's where we have the rough surf. So looking at tomorrow, this is what we've got to watch out for the potential for some tornadoes. We have a level two slight risk for severe weather along the Mississippi coast in southern Mobile County. Tomorrow we could see some tornadic activity, especially during the daytime tomorrow because we're in the northeast quadrant of a, of the land falling tropical system. Now looking at the computer models here, they they show they're all starting to show. There's just one model that brings it our way. The turn back towards the west northwest and uh, also looking at the modeling here. This is some of the modeling for for Laura. That's why we've got to watch it. A lot of the models do bring it around Lake Charles, but there are some models that do bring it closer to New Orleans or us, so we're not out of the woods with Laura. Certainly uh, stay tuned on that one. We'll have more information at the bottom of the hour and we're gearing up for a big newscast tonight at 9 p.m. You want to make plans to tune into that. That's when we'll be getting another advisory, but we'll continue to digest the new tracks that have come down from the National Hurricane Center and keep you posted as we've got potentially two hurricanes in our backyard this week in the Gulf that will have some impact on our area here on Fox 10 News.